just disrespecting the fuck out of Big Mom. Well, if y'all don't remember at the beginning of One Piece, the episode where Luffy got his devil fruit, who was really getting disrespected? That man Shanks. Anime family was good with it, everybody. It's your boy Lulu V Bri back with another video. And I wanted to address something because in two, three videos ago, where I showed him Kaido, I said that Shanks was the weakest. Y'all came for me like y'all always do, talking all that shit like y'all always do. Well, today I decided since y'all want to talk shit, I'm about to give y'all my I wanted to give y'all my opinion, my personal opinion, which I mean, which is pretty much always facts. On who's the strongest Yonko, who's the weakest, who's in the middle, and all of that. So, before you listen to my list, first, ask yourself and be honest with yourself. Who is your favorite Yonko? Okay, you got your favorite Yonko in mind. You automatically assume that that person is the strongest. Let me say that right now. And I know it's a lot of Shanks fans out there who think Shanks is the strongest. And that's not true. Shanks has the strongest crew. All of his crew together, along with Shanks... They are the strongest because he has the strongest crew. Now, Shanks, individually, he is not the strongest, Yonko. Let me say that right there. I mean, a lot of people think so because he, he get to have meetings and shit with the, with the higher-ups and all of that. But you got to think about the type of person that Shanks is. He's, he's not unreasonable. He's very reasonable. He has a good sense of justice. He has a good sense of morality and all of that. So you got to factor all of those things into it. Yeah, he's a pirate, but he ain't no vicious-ass, scumbag-ass, punk-ass, Kaido-type pirate. No disrespect to my nigga Kaido, but Kaido is a pirate pirate. Big Mom is a pirate pirate. Blackbeard is a pirate pirate. You feel me? Whitebeard and, and Shanks, them niggas is like, you feel me? They not real pirates. You know, they pirates, but they ain't do the pirate shit. Like, fuck everybody else. We finna take y'all shit. We finna rob y'all for the looty, for the booty and all of that. We finna make you walk the plank. Them not the type of pirates they is. They just want to find some treasure and shit. They want to, uh, they want to find the one piece and all of that. But I don't even know if Whitebeard want to do that. Or Shanks. I think he gave up on his dream of finding it. But I'm talking too much. Let's rank them. Let's get into this video, baby. Okay. So first, let's start off with the weakest. The weakest to me is most definitely Blackbeard. If we can consider him a Yonko, he's definitely five. The reason he's five at the way, way bottom is because, for one, Luffy socked on this nigga. And this was before the time skip and all of that. Luffy socked on this nigga up in a prison, right? White beard socked on this nigga. Everybody was disrespecting the fuck out of this man. Like, I get it. He got both devil fruits now and then. Both of his devil fruits are OP. But that's all it is. Like, you know, if he didn't have those devil fruits, he wouldn't be shit. You feel me? He got some powerful devil fruits, which makes him powerful. But having a powerful devil, devil fruit does not make you powerful. Enel, for example, Guy Eneru, whatever you want to call him. That nigga devil fruit was oh fucking P. But because he was ass... He got defeated by Luffy. You get what I'm saying? He was OP as fuck. His devil fruit went crazy. But Rubber Man beat his ass. He didn't train with it. So a lot of a lot of other pirates, a lot of stronger pirates would have fucked him up. Because he didn't train. That nigga was too cocky. He was ruling over the sky pier. He was the god of it. He ain't had to worry about nothing. Now imagine if that man trained. He would have been on some golden freezer type shit. Same thing with Blackbeard. Now, I don't know how strong Blackbeard was without his devil fruit. But I think the man was pretty weak. Especially considering Luffy beat his ass before the time skip. So he's way at the bottom. Feel me? Whitebeard stumped on the nigga head and all types of shit. Yeah, socked on him and all that. So he's at the bottom for sure. Now, fourth, I'm going to put Shanks. He fourth. So y'all right. He ain't the weakest, but he ain't the strongest. He ain't in the middle. And the reason why I put him fourth is because Shanks got his arm took off. I know y'all, oh, he did it on purpose. Come on now. If a fucking Sea King try to bite Big Mom or Kaido or Whitebeard or any of them. No, bro. Come on now. No, bro. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That shit not happen. And then this nigga Blackbeard put that scar on this nigga face, right? He put the scar on that man's face. And I know a lot of y'all be saying that Shanks is stronger than Big Mom, but I really fucking doubt it. Because if we look at all of the Yonkos, if we look at Blackbeard, 
If we look at Kaido, if we look at, what's the nigga name? Whitebeard. If we look at Shanks, all of them got scars, scarred up, got fucked up at one point in time. Look at Big Mom, flawless, no scars on her body. Somebody told me, somebody came to me and they told me that um, Big Mom got disrespected, the, the worst or some shit. People was just disrespecting the fuck out of Big Mom. Well, if y'all don't remember at the beginning of One Piece, the episode where Luffy got his devil fruit, who was really getting disrespected? That man Shanks. Now, I know, I know he... You feel me? That shit didn't bother him. It's like, man, I ain't finna just go beat these niggas' ass, but let's talk about getting disrespected. This nigga busted a bottle over this nigga head. Come on now. That's not disrespectful as fuck. I know Shanks made the niggas pay later on. You feel me? But they were some weak ass niggas. You got disrespected. It's as simple as that. We talking about disrespect. Now, I understand Shanks is like, oh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but ain't nobody go disrespect Big Mom like that. Y'all got to realize Big Mom was spazzing out over some cake. She was finna fuck up the whole world over some cake. She was finna kill all of the straw hats over some cake. She put up on a boat, was finna fuck them up over some cake. Come on, man. Stop. Big Mom didn't get disrespected. All right. So, yeah, I got Shane Shine number four. Number three. Number three, three, three. Wait, hold on. Blackbeard five. Shane Shine four. And at number three, I'm putting Whitebeard. Now, a lot of y'all like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? This man putting Whitebeard at number three? The reason I'm putting Whitebeard at number three is because Whitebeard, I'm an anime only watcher. The Whitebeard that I seen, he was not in his prime. Later on, I do see prime Whitebeard, but I don't really see prime Whitebeard. All I do is see, all I seen was him clash with Goldie Roger. Any one of the Yonkos, every single one of them can do that same clash with Goldie Roger. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. It was just a clash. That's all we seen. We didn't really get to see too much of Whitebeard. When we did see him in the war, he was beating on niggas and shit. He was beating uh on the Admiral, who was it? Akainu. He beat on he beat on Admiral Akainu, he beat on Blackbeard. That's why Blackbeard is all the way at the bottom. Because but shit, Blackbeard might be above Shanks because look what he did to that nigga Shanks. You feel me? So I don't know, it's controversial between Shanks and Blackbeard, but I put Shanks above him. We're not talking about Cruz. We're not talking about Cruz. Because if we talking about Cruz, Shanks is all the way at the top. Blackbeard is probably right under him. Now, Whitebeard is under Shanks. Blackbeard is under him. Big Mom probably got the... Uh, Big Mom got is number four, and Kaido got the weakest crew for sure. Because what the fuck? But yeah, Kaido, I think, got the weakest crew. But we're not talking about crews. We're talking about them individually. And Whitebeard, first of all, he got his skin pierced through, right? By a little nigga who was part of his crew or some shit. When he, uh, right before the war started, this nigga pierced Blackbeard. I mean, Whitebeard through the chest. Whitebeard also had plenty of other scars on him already. This nigga was on the verge of death and all of that. Now, we talking about what we seen. This Whitebeard right here. Is not stronger than no other Yonka. Well, yes, he is. He's stronger than Shanks and he's stronger than uh, Blackbeard. This this white beard right here is stronger than them. But this old ass man is not doing shit against Big Mom or Kaido. No, 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 no. Big Mom and Kaido will fuck this old ass man up easily. They will fuck this nigga up. Both of them. Especially Kaido. That's why Kaido was trying to pull up. Kaido was like, you know what? I'm finna go kill this bitch ass nigga. And then Shanks intervened. Now, they never said that Shanks and Kaido fought. They said Shanks stopped him. They said, well, they might have said that they fought, but they didn't fucking fight. You think them niggas got into a big ass brawl and then this nigga Shanks just pulled up to the motherfucking war like nothing happened? Come on now. I'm thinking that Shanks intercepted them and was like, look, bro. If you want to go fight them, you got to fight us, too. And since Shanks got the strongest crew, Kaido wasn't trying to do that because he knows it's going to take a lot of energy out of him. And then if he try to go to the war, he going to get his ass beat because he already didn't fall Shanks. But he would have won. But then he would have had to go fight Whitebeard. And then he would have lost. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it was a straight fade between them. I don't, but no. Okay, so next, it's out of Big Mom and Kaido on who's the strongest. This one is tough to me because if it wasn't for Big Mom, nigga spoiled me, nigga spoiled me. If it wasn't for Big Mom, Kaido wouldn't be the nigga that he is. You get what I'm saying? She gave him his devil fruit. But she did give him his devil fruit. You get me? So I don't know. Y'all, y'all manga readers, y'all could tell me who's the winner between them two, who's who's the strongest and who's not, because y'all know. Y'all seeing them getting down and dirty. 
But somebody spoiled it for me, and they said that Luffy is fighting Kaido one on one right now. I don't think Luffy could fight Big Mom one on one, but I am an anime only watcher. I am anime only, but I do want to hear y'all opinions on that because no matter what, I'm going to watch the shit. So I do want to hear y'all opinions on who y'all think coming in at number one and who coming in at number two. But five, I got uh, Marshall D. Teach, Blackbeard. Four, I got Shanks. Third, I got Whitebeard. And then I don't know out of those two right there because they some fucking dogs. They some fucking dogs. You see this nigga Whitebeard got his skin pierced through by his homie when this nigga Brooke tried to pierce uh, Big Mom. Nothing happened. Her skin is invincible. The only way that you can hurt her, penetrate her skin is if she's vulnerable because her picture fall on the ground or some shit. You know, some bullshit. Power of the pen. Bullshit. Some stupid ass bullshit. And even when something happened to her, they said that she got injured. But I don't, I didn't see no scars on her or nothing like I seen on everybody else. Because Shanks got a permanent mark right here. That nigga Kaido got a permanent mark right here. All of them damaged up. But not Big Mom because she the gold, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, y'all, listen, this is just my opinion. This is what I know as an anime watcher. We're talking about who's the strongest, not who has the strongest crew, not who used to be the strongest if they were in their prime, not if Shanks had both arms, not if Whitebeard was young. We're talking about what we've seen, current One Piece. You get me? Current world, Whitebeard dead, so he shouldn't even be on the moon. But current One Piece, you get me? Who's the strongest? That's all I'm trying to say, y'all. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, y'all. Hey. Before y'all go, remember that you have the ability to make me famous. You have the power to put some bread in my hands. And all y'all do is give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace.